I can study against okay, it. Hold on. Exactly. Are you trying to tell us that God saved us by getting killed himself on the cross? No, what we're saying to you, oh, listen, oh, listen, oh, no, let me explain. You have a question. That saving? He you showed have a question. us what it was to love us. Question. He said, I love you so much that in the end, I love all you people so much that I'm giving my only begotten son that anyone that believes in him would actually be saved. Okay, do you think it's impossible? Who do you think? Do you think it's possible for a man to save himself? Do you think that your right, your so-called righteousness saves you? Yeah, yeah. Do you I think so? You believe that you're no, right. because he actually got Abraham. Okay. He got Abraham to show. Listen, you're not listening. Okay, brother. Listen, you're not listening. No, what he might do, what, he, what God did is he said, you know what, I love you so much. Sir, 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 sir. According to your Bible, Nobody There's lots of people who do that every day sir, when they send their sons into warfare. Sir, there are people in this world that send their sons into warfare actually, to die for others. They did that all sir, the time. It says so. Sir, they die. Sir. I've just answered your question. Sir, I'm not trying to insult you. No, you never I'm, do, sir. I'm asking you, have you got any problem in understanding English? None whatsoever. Thank you. Andrew. But I also understand Thank that you. if you translate no. one word from another language, okay. no. it's never that exacting. No, sir. So you need to go back and study the Greek no, interpretation sir. because that's the correct interpretation. I can't go back to school because I'm a pensioner now. <laughs> so how can I go to a kindergarten? You're looking very well, sir. As a Doing pensioner. Very well. Okay, yeah. okay, hold on. Hold on. I think your so, hearing might be a bit so difficult. Hold on. <laughs> no, don't worry about that. I'm not that. Okay. So you said that Jesus died for everyone. Died right? for everybody. Okay, according to your Bible, that cannot happen. Why? <laughs> because in the book of Deuteronomy, in each and every Christian Bible, in the Old Testament, in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 24, verse 16, listen carefully. It says, the fathers shall not be put to death for the children, for the sins of the children. And who's that for? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Nor shall the children be put to death for the fathers. And who's that for? Listen, Who, the Bible. Listen, Answer the Bible. Who, who's that okay, for? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, madam. I respect you, listen. I One Muslim from this side, at the moment, I'm trying to talk to this Christian. So this Christian... Yeah, I'm asking you a question. He's looking at the verse. Oh, man. It's a dialogue. Yeah, don't worry. No. Want to... You've got to be fair. If you're going to say something... Madam, madam, before... Madam, before I started talking with this Christian, I invited this Christian. This Christian was busy in talking with no, somebody wait, else. Wait, wait, wait. I'm no, sorry, I'm sorry. No, I, we I are talking. I invited you okay. to a chat and you no. walked off. <laughs> I told I invited you, you to a chat. I and you told off, you. Go, you I, no. I, I told you I'll come back in a few minutes. Okay, well I've I, came back yeah. and you're here now no, and you're no, having no, a no. chat and what I'd like to Christians? join in with this chat well, no. about specifically no, what you're speak. saying. Does your fellow oh, Christian have a right to speak? Yes, and I've come here to have a dialogue, to okay, engage, a speaker's corner. But wait corner. in a queue. In a queue. Yeah. I have to queue a speaker's you, corner. He came, he came before you. you. Just let me, I'll answer he his question and then I'll go after this. But, okay, okay, okay. So, okay. Do you know why? Do you know why? Just let okay. me tell you let something, right? No, 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 I'm going to answer your question, right? You don't like it's the because, no, no, because Jesus, Jesus himself made that decision. Jesus said, I will lay down my life willingly in order to fulfill the will and purpose of the Father. Okay. It was Jesus Father. who said, I laid down my life. Okay. It wasn't the Father that sent him to be sacrificed. Okay. It wasn't the Father who put okay. him onto the altar and actually sacrificed okay. him. It was Jesus himself to fulfill what God had promised. Okay. That in the end, he would actually put upon him all of the sins, all of the wickedness of man. That he would put it upon Jesus. This is actually what he said. This okay, is actually what he said. Me. Okay, he said, you have your time. Now, we Muslims say Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is God Almighty. Allahu Akbar. One creator, one God Almighty. Am Who's going to save you, my friend? Am are I? you going to save it with your righteousness? Or are you going to rely upon any of these guys here to save you? Am or are you going to rely upon God Am himself? Am are you going to rely upon God himself? Am is your reliance for your God salvation himself. on God or some man? It is God himself that came to do that. He said, you know something? No man is righteous enough. Okay, Not stop. one. Stop. I will come. Okay. Did you say no man is righteous? Not one. 
Okay, was Jesus a man? He was a man because in the end he was the temple. He was the temple of God. He was the temple of God made by God himself. And in that temple there is God and he was holy. You lost why? Okay, brother, you lost why? You said no man is righteous. So when I asked you, was Jesus a man? You said yes. But he was also God. He's not a mere man. Okay, okay. Let me ask you. Do you know something? Let me tell you, right? He was the temple of the living God. Not bricks, not some kind of temple, not some kind of synagogue. He was a very living temple, the temple of God. And God said, he said, what temple can a man build for me? But the earth is my footstool. Okay, okay. Answer the question. Is it true? He's a man, yeah. Okay, okay. Is it, brother? Yeah, and when God came into him, he was actually as one with God. Hold on. When the spirit of the living God came upon him, he was God. Brother, brother, can I ask you? Can I ask you? Oh, you'll be quiet. Okay, can I ask you? You know something? It's fairly simple, right? If I'm relying upon somebody that can save me, it is God Himself. If I'm looking to see what that looks like, what do I see? I see a man on the cross dying for me. That's very simple. I see a man that was prepared to take my sins from me and die on the cross. Okay, okay. Can you said Jesus was a man, yes? He was a man. But he was also God. Because Jesus, because God himself said Isaiah, he said as a child. Hold on. You said Jesus was a man, Not yes? Not a mere man. You're taking Hold that out of context. Did you say Jesus was a man, yes? I'll show you what he actually was. Just a man. He's a man. I'll tell you okay. what I'll show you, boss. You said Jesus was a man, This yes? is what God is. This is who Jesus is. I'll answer you. For unto us a child is born. Unto us a son is given. And the government will be upon his shoulders. And his name, his single name, not plural, will be called Wonderful. Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father and Prince of Peace. That's the name of this Son given unto Israel. That's who he is. That is Jesus. He said of the increase of his government and peace. It says here. You see, in the end, this is what amazes me. You'll decide to use parts of Isaiah, and yet you won't look at the ones which actually demonstrate who Jesus is. This is what it says. I'll say it again. I've just answered you. I've just answered you. You. He said, for unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. Who is the unto us? That's Israel. And he said, he said, he said that upon his shoulders, do you know where the shoulder blade is? The Hebrew shoulder means there, this bit between. When he says the government is upon his shoulder, okay. he is talking about all the wickedness of this world okay. as Jesus dies on the cross. Okay. That's his shoulder. So did you say, a son okay. and a child. So, so, did you, brother, brother, so did you say Jesus died? He died on the cross yeah, to right. set us free. So and he did so because God. only God could do that. So, so are you telling us God Almighty died? The humanity of yes. Jesus did, did you say God Almighty died? Yes. No, 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 no. 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 Who has believed our report? And to whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? For he shall grow up before him as a tender plant. And as a root out of the dry ground, he has no form that we would look at him to consider him beautiful, but ugly. And when we see him, there is no beauty that we should desire him. He was despised and rejected by man, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. And we hid, as it were, our faces from him. And he was despised and he was made no, of no esteem. Surely he has borne our griefs and carried out our, carried our sorrows. Yet we have esteemed him stricken. That is Jesus. That is the prophet Isaiah talking about one that would be stricken for our sins. Because God is the only one that can save us. Stop. God. Stop. God. You said, how can he save us? You said that God... You know what? You've got such a limited view of what God's power is like. Okay, hold on. Yeah. Their God is not the real God. Their God is a false yes, God. Do you think it's not possible for God to come himself and save you? Do you think it's not possible for God to have the power and the authority to save us? You're talking to me. You're talking to me. They have tunnel vision. Quiet, quiet.
Anyway, bless you, sir. I tell you what, I testify to one truth that he was stricken for our iniquities. Let those, let the people, let all the guys that are filming say that Isaiah said that he is stricken for our iniquities. It's God himself that took our sins away. God himself, God himself in Christ Jesus took our sins away on the cross. He died upon the cross. It was Jesus that God saves you. Bless you, sir. Take care. Anyway, we got into a discussion as to whether, uh, as to whether Jesus is God, and that's where the whole of that whole episode started from. Um, but as um, as I said to our friend, I said it's interesting how Muslims speaking here will choose to use selected parts of the Bible and somehow use that to justify their argument, and yet they'll ignore other parts of the Bible. So, for example, I was just speaking about Isaiah chapter nine. Isaiah, the great prophet of Israel, that was, that's actually accepted by Muhammad as being one of the prophets of God. And they completely ignore the fact that what Isaiah said, he said, I'm to us, he said, look at it in chapter 9 of Isaiah, I'm to us, a child is born. I'm to us, a son is given. When he says I'm to us, he means Israel. And he said that the name of that single child and son will be mighty counsellor, wonderful God, everlasting father and prince of peace. So in the end, that's where this debate came to. But also in the end, there was this, this part of it where Jesus' name actually means God saves you. It literally is a prophetic word that said, I come to save you. And if you look at Isaiah 53, it talks about the description of the one that God has sent to die for our sins. When he said he was stricken for our iniquities, he said nobody would want to look at this one because of the ugliness of what he would look like dying on the cross. And that who, that is who God was speaking about in Isaiah 53, Jesus, the one that saves us. So that's what that debate was about. Bless you.